That's right. Okay. Um, yeah. You want to? Con- you have anything more? Or you want to continue talking about well, that? I, I, yeah, I, I still don't really get anything figured out. I wanted to just say that I use a Vitamix blender every day, usually two meals a day or all. That, that, Steve, Steve, you're making a very common mistake when you do that, and this is real. Oh, a lot okay. of folks, and this is what I mean by that. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It's irrelevant what you're doing. It matters what you're not doing, what you're missing. You know, yeah, it's great that you're doing a Vitamix. I highly recommend you do that, and juicing is great. I think I don't remember the details of what we talked about on Friday, but I think you're doing a lot of good stuff, and that's awesome, and you should continue to do that good stuff. But the fact that you have varicose veins means you're missing something. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. It matters what you're not doing. That's the point I want to make, and and I I want to make that to uh, all our listeners because I hear this all the time. People give me a, a whole list of all the supplements they're taking or all the good nutritional moves they're making or dietary moves they're making, but they still have some kind of problem, which means we're missing something. So here's the deal with varicose veins. Just think of the circulatory system, as as the name implies, as a big circle. It goes from your heart, and then it goes to all your organs, and then it returns back upwards to the heart, and then it goes back through the heart and all your organs, like a big, just a big circle in your body, the circulatory system. Varicose veins are a sign that the return trip is being blocked. The return trip upwards from the liver up to the heart is somehow being blocked. And this usually involves a sluggish liver. Okay, does that make sense so far? Does the mechanism make sense? Do you understand how that works? You have a big circle. Yep. And, okay, good. And, and uh, uh, hang tight because I'm going I'm I'm to finish this up here for you in a little bit. I just wanna get, I want everybody to get the picture here. The circulatory system is just a big, uh, like the letter O. There's a heart at the top. The blood, the arterial blood goes from the heart to all the organs, and then it returns upwards through the liver, which is kind of the linchpin, kind of the, the, the turning point as the blood goes up. Now, if the liver is sluggish, the blood will begin to pool down words and settle uh, basing, uh, based on the effects of gravity. Gravity will start to pull things down. As things will pull down, as the uh, blood gets pulled down via gravity and the, dif- the difficulties of getting through the liver, this is where you start to get into problems like edema and varicose veins and hemorrhoids, which are another type of varicose vein. So the first thing we need to think about, Steve, is something that's percolating in the liver. Now, the liver is obviously a very, very key organ that does all kinds of things. It processes poisons, it processes sugars and fats, and processes proteins. It's pretty much the most multifunctional organ in your body, and it's the biggest and largest organ in your body uh, next to the skin, which is on the outside of the body, and it's extremely, extremely functional and important. So it makes sense that if anything is going wrong in the body, one of the first places it's going to show up is the liver. Now, the fact that you're doing all these supplements, and I think you said you were working out and you're taking good care of yourself, that's all great. But what it means is is that something is just beginning to start to show up in the liver, causing a little bit of sluggishness. It could be some kind of fatty deposits. It could be something that's not being metabolized correctly. So whenever you have an issue with the liver, the first thing you want to think about, as always, with everything, with all degenerative diseases, is foods. And it's the easiest place to work. Now, if we really want to get a good picture of what's happening in your body, Steve, we need to triangulate. And by triangulate, I mean we need to have multiple points. So varicose veins are one point. We need two more points. Is there anything else you can come up with uh, that will allow us to form a picture, a three-dimensional picture of what's going on in your body so we can triangulate and get three points and kind of figure out what's happening, get an image of what's happening inside the body? Any, anything else that you can think of? Uh, well, I, I come in contact with a lot of chlorine. I don't know if that No, is I mean symptoms. No, no. Steve, oh, okay. listen. Symptoms. Uh, sure. Um... No, not okay. Not. Okay, well, that's your homework, buddy. That's your homework because I can tell you uh, the logic of a varicose vein is that something is clogging up the liver and keeping the blood from, from making its full circle in a smooth and easy fashion. I can tell you that, but until I have a couple other points, I can't see exactly what's happening inside the body. So your homework is you, you don't have just varicose veins. Nobody just has varicose veins. There's no way that all of the, vein, all of the valves in the vein can become defective at the same time unless there's something else going on in your system. So you, it's just that you're missing a couple of things. So spend a couple of uh, 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, try to put together a couple symptoms, and you can either call us back or you can shoot me an email. I think you already, did you send me an email, Steve? Yeah, I did. Okay, did you put your phone number on there? 
I did. All right. So you have two options here. I can deal with you personally on the phone, which I'm glad to do, or you can help all our listeners if you can come up with a two symptoms, at least two. If you can come up with more, that's even better. Uh, there's two other things that are going on in your body, and so we can form a picture of what's happening, a three-dimensional picture of what's happening, rather than just trying to treat the varicose veins out of context. Now, if you can't think of anything else, then, the first, then what you really want to focus on is the liver, because it means blood is not getting through the liver to make it on the return trip, and it's pulling back downwards. That's the mechanism of varicose veins. That is the only mechanism of varicose veins, really, is that blood is not getting, is not making its, its round trip, its return trip back to the heart effectively, and it's starting to, to, to pull downwards. So if you can come up with a couple other symptoms, that would be great, and that would help us form a picture. If not, then I would highly recommend you figure out what the heck is getting into your liver, and usually that means something through the digestive system. Uh, so, or it could be a medicine. Are you on any medications or anything? No, zero. Okay, good. Yeah, no, it sounds, sounds like you're a healthy guy. Uh, and so this is, all, this is all great news. The supplements you're doing and the Vitamix and, and how you're taking care of yourself, that's all great news. So if we just figure out what is getting into the system that's clogging up the liver and keeping the blood from making that return flow, then we should be able to take care of you pretty easily. All right? So spend a couple of days. Give it, give it 24, 48 hours. You can either write me back. Uh, I'd prefer if you call so we could help some other folks. Uh, but either way, we'll put together a picture and we'll see what's going on. Other than that, you're dealing with a liver issue, and that's what you want to focus on. On. Thanks so much for calling. Appreciate it, Steve, and uh, hope we can help you out. All right, Pam in Michigan, what is up? How are you doing this morning? And welcome to the Bright Side. Hello. Hello, Pam. What's cooking? Um, okay, well, I can totally relate to everything you're talking about today. Great okay. show. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I spoke to you before, and um, I was seeing myself as though I had yeast, and uh, I went to the gynecologist, and he said it could be lichen sclerosis. Lichen sclerosis. Okay. On the genitals? Yes. Okay, hang tight. We'll get. We'll, I'll tell you about lichen sclerosis when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis, Communi- Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back after this. If you suffer seasonal or environmental allergies and your doctor has told you that the only answer is medications for the rest of your life, Dr. Peter Glidden has an alternative solution that doesn't involve drugs with terrible side effects. One of my favorite add-on products to the 90 essential nutrients for people who are suffering with allergies is a product called Cell Shield RTQ. Cell Shield RTQ. The Q in that product stands for a biochemical called quercetin, and quercetin is a natural antihistamine. It doesn't flag out your immune system like antihistamines do. To manage your allergies without a lifetime of prescription or over-the-counter drugs, order Longevity's Cell Shield RTQ today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. So my elementary school-aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Contact me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. M-B-R-O-W-E-R at GCNlive.com. That's M-Brower at GCNlive.com. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number, 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HDTV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. Pam in, is it Michigan, Pam? Yes. Hi, Pam. So uh, lichen, lichen sclerosis, first of all, uh, you know, most, most sufferers of lichen sclerosis are women, so that usually tells us that there's some kind of estrogen component. The latest literature on lichen sclerosis indicates that it's of autoimmune etiology or cause. Uh, so I'm going to ask you what I asked Steve. Uh, do you have, what else is going on? Any other symptoms that you can come up with? That we'll, so we can put together a picture of what's happening in your body. Chances are you don't just have lichen sclerosis. Okay, right. Um, well, I've been on Wellbutrin for 20 years. Uh, okay. Um, Omeprazole for 15 years. I'm oh, okay. a thyroid for about 15. Oh, jeez. Okay, so you didn't, um, we don't even. You're, you're, you, we got the opposite of Steve. Steve couldn't come up with anything. You got all kinds of stuff going on, but that's good. We got a whole. I'm we got a, veins. Uh, okay, the whole bit. The whole bit. All right, so the least of your problems is a little depigmentation, uh, which is what lichen sclerosis is for the listeners. It's little white patches that form um, on the genitals, and as I say, 10 times as many sufferers of lichen sclerosis are women as men. So whenever that happens, and there's a couple of. There's at least a few diseases I know of, uh, which mostly affect women. Uh, I always think of the hormone estrogen. Estrogen is a female hormone predominantly, and it is also stress hormone. So it sounds like you got some serious stressors going on in the system. Uh, also, some of the latest literature on lichen sclerosis indicates that it may be an autoimmune disease, which is when the body attacks itself. In this case, the body is attacking the cells that make pigment, and thus you have the white spots. Uh, so a couple of things that I would be doing, as, as always, you want to focus first and foremost on foods. And I, if you have the, you're on the own parasol, chances are, that you know that you've got some kind of digestive health issues. Uh, something is triggering heartburn and something is triggering uh, excess, acid, uh, excess acid secretion, etc. So do you know you have problem foods, food allergies, food intolerances, digestive health issues, bowel movement problems, etc., gas bloating, that kind of stuff? Okay, well, in February, I stopped taking my Prilosec and my thyroid medication, uh-huh. and I've gone gluten-free. I mean, we are totally good. Not yet. Not, are you getting better? I am getting better, but okay. I had this, you know, under my armpits and, you know, vaginal area for... Years. How old are you? How old? 52. Okay, then you're on the right track, but see, it sounds like you're working correctly. Now, here's the thing I would caution you about gluten allergy, about uh, uh, laying off gluten, and it's really one of my pet peeves with nutritionists and alternative practitioners who uh, I consider to be my friends. But when I hear this, when people talk about gluten as if it is some magic substance and you just eliminate gluten out of your diet and then you continue eating it, whatever you want to eat, and you're going to be fine, it just makes me really angry because, you see, it's much more than gluten. Gluten is just one of a zillion with a Z 
different compounds that you can react to in food. And so when people tell you to go gluten-free or to eliminate gluten, they're being, either being very simplistic because they're treating you like an infant or they don't know any better themselves. See, glute, go, uh, laying off gluten is great, but you could be allergic to all kinds of other things and you're still doing them. They have gluten-free beer and gluten-free pizza and gluten-free cakes and gluten-free candies and people say, well, I'm just going to eat this gluten-free pizza and I should be fine not knowing or not realizing that there's 10 different other compounds in, in wheat and pizza crust that you can be reacting to. So it's all well and good that you're going gluten-free, my dear, but you still got something going on. So this is what you need to do, okay? You want to focus on your digestive symptoms. And I guarantee you, I'm not psychic Ben here, but I'm guaranteeing you, you got to know that you got some bowel movement issues, either digest, uh, diarrhea, or constipation. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably constipation. Does that sound familiar at all, ma'am? Um, it's diarrhea, but okay. I have been on the 